you say is your highlight of the season so far? I think the little combination of, the, I think it was the Shrewsbury game, I think, I think we played well against Charlton. I think at West Bromwich Albion at home was as solid as I've seen the team perform. Chelsea way particularly because of Mourinho's great home record when we went there and to play how we did, we thoroughly deserved to win and could have scored more. Um, and that's when they, I think everybody looked at Chelsea and said they're in real trouble. Um, but the satisfaction coming away from there, knowing that you deserve to win and won and could have done better, that was, that was a brilliant feeling. Yeah, mine was West Brom, I think. I think that's the best. Because of last year, the way that... Yeah, I just think the way we played, just the, the amount of possession we had, the great passing, it's the stuff that, you know... As we got better last year, we had real problems with teams that came and sat in against us. Because the earth was kind of geared up to them coming onto us and us breaking on them. So I think because the manager obviously worked on a solution to that, that was really gratifying to me, you know, to know that the manager and everybody on behalf of the managers worked all summer to get some players so that we can you know, because those kind of games, the way they can easily go at home, which you can see a lot in the Premier League, is they sit in, you try and break them down, try and break them down, you end up getting frustrated and they nick a goal, you know, because yeah. you kind of run out of ideas. And I thought that was probably the most gratifying performance in that we did something we haven't done before in the Premier League, I don't think. I don't remember us having a soft, you know, defensive side come against us and then just like being able to move the ball quick and keep the ball and work a way to unlock it. So I, I thought that was very good. And that was one of the things he said when he came, we need more possession. We can't sort of keep surviving on 30% possession. We have to keep the boys at the back have got to want the ball more. We've got to keep it more. And then obviously, from the summer when we were away, and you said to Alan, number one signing, Alan, goodbye. Number two, goodbye. <laughs> number three, yeah. goodbye. And to get Johan, and then to, to see him in the team, and some of the things he does, and I still probably think there's a bit more to come as well. Um, I think he elevated and lifted people single-handedly, probably the, the, probably the standard of training as well. And you get that as a club where, as a player, you get excited when you sign somebody. You can't wait to play with them. And I think he's done that to this football club. We've coped well with injuries as well, haven't we, recently? Mm. In quite a few. Yeah, and, and this is the thing about utility, and you're talking about Martin Kelly could play right back, left back, centre back. If you're on the bench, you have to start to think about if you get an injury, who can go in, who can cover. Um, Damien Delaney came out of the team. Breda came in, player of the month. Um, great pro, great example to the younger players of how to conduct yourself in a day in, day, day out basis. Um, you know, Scotty Dan out of the team, which we all thought, oh, cry, you know, but. The team have coped well. There's so much more to come. There's such a competition for places, such a good spirit, uh, you know, around the place. Even the people out the squad, everybody pulling for each other. And, and as bright as Johan, what a brilliant lad, and almost no time at all to settle. Really, you know, just straight in and on the pace, and uh, most interceptions in the league. Most beautiful man in the league. <laughs> well, Chris, I mean, obviously I'm not playing anymore, so... <laughs> it's a really exciting time to be a Palace fan, isn't it? Love it. I mean, the stadium's packed anyway, to start with, at most, most home games, and then just the atmosphere, the expectation, that buzz around the big games, and they're great games to look forward to. And, and, and I think the, what's, what's great now, opposing teams come here knowing it's going to be difficult, Whereas before, they'd be a little bit patient and know they'd score a couple of goals or whatever. Now they just know they're in the game. And I think that's the, that's the best you can say when, when you know your team can compete in the Premier League and we can compete against anybody now. And I feel that, and I think the players feel it, and I think the fans feel it. And this is the best it's ever been.